Oh, Dr. Douglas. Dr. Douglas, guess what happened to me? You got knocked up? <laughs> no. Too bad. Could have given me a great deal on a C-section. Anyway, I was just at the dry cleaners giving him hell about melting my buttons and stripping my zippers. When this fella behind me says, excuse me, miss, but could you sound as authoritative yet folksy with a microphone stuck in your face? <laughs> Next thing I know, he asked me to audition for a TV commercial. No kidding. He thought my voice would be perfect for this little cartoon owl named Reason who gives kids good advice. <laughs> You would be the voice of reason. Uh-huh. Then talk about your typecast, and I love telling people what to do and listen to this. Hootie hoot! Uncanny. If I was a mouse, I'd soil myself. <laughs> Nice walk. Walk? <laughs> we hurdled hedges for two blocks. So, Dreyfus, what did we learn today? Huh? With a poodle, we can be a badass. <laughs> With a pit bull, we run like little girls, you know? My poor pooped papa. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, nice. Smiley face cookies. Uh, no, no, no. These are for my boss. Mr. Braxton's been in such a foul mood lately, I thought I'd cheer him up with a home-baked goodie. Oh, that's very sweet of you, dear. Sweet? Hell, it's calculated. <laughs> oh, that's him now. We're carpooling today. Come with me, Daddy. I need your help. Come here. Oh, I forgot my purse. Uh, well, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll let him oh, in. Thanks. Go, Here. Go. Okay. And, uh, Daddy, uh, try to cheer him up, okay? Entertain him. <laughs> well, well, wait. What do you want me to do? A magic trick? No, better not. I tried that yesterday. He broke my wand. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Braxton. Hi. Oh. What's new? War, famine, flesh-eating viruses. <laughs> But that's the world we live in. Smiley face cookie? I hate cookies. Who doesn't? <laughs> oh, so, uh, the dolphins. Yeah. Should be a hell of a game tonight, the way Marino's been throwing the ball. Yeah, now if we can just find somebody to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Huh? Yeah, I got an extra ticket. I was going to take my buddy Art, but he just moved away. Guess I should call him my ex-buddy Art. You mean he's not your friend anymore? He moved to Brazil with all my money. So, you want to go to the game? Well, yeah, that's great. Thank you, Mr. Braxton. Well, it's no big deal. And it's Ben. Call me Ben. Dr. Weston. You know, my Harry. Harry. Yeah, you know, you look like a Harry. Now, Art, you look more like a Phil. So sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Braxton. Oh, it's okay, Carol. I was just talking sports with your dad. Say, that's a nice outfit. Really? Oh, well, thanks for noticing. Oh, wait a minute, sir. I, I, I made you a, a special treat. Smiley face cookies. Uh, no, Carol. that's okay, Harry. You know, now that I think about it, I don't hate cookies. I hate art. <laughs> Thank God. I almost painted him a landscape. Uh, 
That was some height. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, this is good. Oh, <laughs> where, where, man, we're up high. Yeah. My ex-buddy Art swears he saw the blimp pilot come flying by with his pinky up the old schnozzola. <laughs> No, those blimp jocks are total pros. Uh, 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 oh. Hi, uh, how you doing? Where's Art? Forget Art. This is my new pal, Harry. Harry Lloyd. Aren't you chilly? Hey, you're right. <laughs> Ready for a beer? Yeah, fine, sure. Oh, yeah, no, no, here, let me get it. Really? Yeah. Hey, my new pal Harry is springing for beer. Yeah. Oh, his beer. Oh. Yep, two beers. You know, not once in all those years did my ex-buddy Art ever buy me a beer. Art bought me beer all the time. <laughs> here you go, pal. Thanks. Hey, Lloyd, you're on TV. started the wave. <laughs> Good morning, Maxine. Hey, Harry. What do you think? I think I didn't know Laverne was Jewish. <laughs> It was only star the floor's hand. <laughs> Harry Laverne aced the audition. She got the part in that commercial. Isn't that great? I'm for clumped. Morning, y'all. Oh, there she is, Harry. Our own little star. Oh, come on, Doctor. Now you're embarrassing me. Oh, and aren't you thoughtful? But for future reference, I am a Methodist. <laughs> Well, congratulations, dear. We're, we're very proud of you. Well, thank you, Doctor, but I, I couldn't have made it this far without Dr. Douglas. This woman is a natural-born director. Uh, I was just working with the clay God gave me. <laughs> You're beautiful, babe. Back at you. <laughs> Old people. Charlie, what are you doing here? I might ask you the same thing. I work here. So you remember where you work, but you can't remember that we were supposed to watch the game together last night. Harry, he stood me up. Charlie, I'm sorry I forgot, but Carol's boss had an extra ticket. I know. I saw you on TV last night having the time of your life doing the wave with that painted gut guy. All right, look, uh, would it make you happy if we got together tonight? How about if we go boldly? Just you and me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, would you like me better if I painted my gut? Of course not, Charlie. Come on, don't be an idiot. Oh. Harry? What? Got any gut cleaner? <laughs> Sophia, thank you for making your fabulous lasagna. You are a lifesaver. My pleasure. That'll be 50 bucks. <laughs> Excuse me, $50? Either that or invite me to dinner. <laughs> well, of course you're invited. What are we having? <laughs> lasagna. For 50 bucks? Find yourself another sucker. <laughs> Hi, dear. Oh, Daddy, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's fine. fine. Yes, it's fine. You're, 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 you're welcome. Just stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that Mr. Braxton was in the best mood today, and it's all because you walked into his life. Carol, we just went to a game together. Oh, that's him now. What? Yeah, I invited him to have dinner with us. <laughs> Carol, I'm going bowling with Charlie tonight. Daddy, forget Charlie. You've got a new friend. <laughs> Is that my friend? 
Carol, after the game, he made me look through this big scrapbook filled with pictures of him and his ex-buddy Art. <laughs> the man's weird. Daddy, he may be weird, but he can't wait to see you. Oh, Go on. <clears throat> Hi, Ben. Hold that pose, buddy. Uh, That's going on page one of our scrapbook. Great, great. Uh, come on in. Hello, Mr. Braxton. Evening, Carol. These are for you. Oh, flowers from the boss. Well, I guess I know how I rate. Yeah, and this is for you, amigo. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, wait. A laser disc player? <laughs> page two. <laughs> Hit the road, I'm in the mood for suds and pins. Not tonight, Charlie. Daddy's busy. Uh, Charlie, can I, uh, would you mind if we did it another night? Yes. <laughs> and who's he? Mr. Braxton is my boss. Now beat it. Your boss? Oh, the guy with the tickets. <laughs> I should have figured. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Wait, 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 wait. Come here, 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 come here. Why don't you join us for dinner? Daddy. No, 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 Carol, come on. I think these two guys might have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah? What? <laughs> well, do you both like me? No, I can't. Come on. No, just have another place. Come on, dear. So, Harry ever buy you a beer? Harry buys all my beer. Daddy, why didn't you just tell him to go home? Because I promised him that we would get together tonight. Besides, if those two hit it off, maybe they'll both leave me alone. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, whoa. Somebody want to tell me what the hell happened here? Harry, you haven't known me very long. But one thing I'm not is a fink. Neither am I. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> he threw the first swing. You assaulted my boss? Shame on you, Charlie. Shame, shame, shame. It's not my fault. Your new pal told me to get my feet off your coffee table. So I said, excuse me, Mr. Man. <laughs> Harry's been my friend a lot longer than he's been yours, and he doesn't care where I put my feet. Yes, I do. Shame on you. Oh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait here. Wait a minute. Now, can't you two guys just shake hands? Come on, be friends. Okay, Harry, I can go the extra mile. All right, that's better. I just don't want you to think I'm some kind of hothead who can't control his temper. Hothead? I can control my temper way better than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah! 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 Okay. Damn. We'll be starting in a couple of minutes. Uh -huh. Lordy, look at all them buttons and switches. Makes me just want to give one twirl, see what happened. <laughs> Please, Laverne, you're a professional now. Act like one. Right. you to the rest of the uh, cast. Angie Price, this is Laverne Todd. Hi, nice to meet you, Laverne. Okie doke Rooney. Oh, I know that voice. Why, you're Billy the Brad. I just love that cartoon. Oh, thank you. Oh, that Billy, he's such a sassy little devil. Uh, Laverne, be cool. Oh, right. Howdy. Uh, hi there, Laverne. Vince Michael Dennis here. Welcome aboard. <laughs> well, thank you, but I don't recognize that voice you're doing. What voice? <laughs> okay, looks like we're ready to go. Why don't uh, you guys put on your phones and we'll get a level. Okay, everybody, let's read this thing down. In five, 
Not so fast, you two. A book of matches is not a toy, for they could burn a little boy. Wow! I never even thought of that! Yeah. <laughs> she makes a lot of sense. You bet I do. That's why they call me Reason. Hee-haw. Hee-haw. <laughs> um, excuse me, um, shouldn't I be saying something a little more owlish, like hooty hoot? No, there's been a little change in the script. Reason's a mule now. <laughs> Let's try it again. That don't make no sense. Well, the ad agency did research. Kids think owls are lame. Mules are funnier. Okay, everybody. Mules may be funnier, although having known quite a few, I might debate that point. But one thing I can assure you is wise, they ain't. And if I don't believe what I'm saying, how are the children supposed to? Laverne, a word? What's up? You're blowing the gig. Well, I am sorry. It is not fair. I do not want to be a mule. They are stubborn. They smell. And when I was little, one of them took a bite out of my Easter dress. Okay. Think about it this way. Yes, reason the mule is stubborn, but only about people taking her good advice. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Using her stubbornness for good. Yeah, that's it. I don't buy it. But I'll give it a try. Not a girl. Can we do this, Laverne? I guess, if you're in love with it. I am. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just, just a second, Tommy. You know, Laverne gave me an idea. I mean, if I'm the kid's dog, wouldn't I be more protective of him? I mean, hell, I'm practically advocating arson. <laughs> And dogs hate far. And you know, I've always played Billy as mischievous, not stupid. That is the charm of that character. You're right. Okay, I guess I need to clear up some issues here. Laverne, you're obviously a person of great passion and integrity. That's the only way I know how to be. And I admire that. I just hope you know how to be a good nurse, because you're fired. You can't fire me. I quit. Okay, that works too. Now, who can give me a mule? Hey -oh, hey -oh, hey -oh. It's audio out to stereo in. Okay. Dreyfus, we have entered the laser disc generation. Da -da 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 -da. Just hope I hooked up everything right. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, Harry. I come with the name of Peace. <laughs> What's it gonna take for you to quit hating Charlie? I don't hate Charlie. Then my work here is done. <laughs> hey, you're back in the fold, yutz. <laughs> That'll be 50 bucks. Thanks, Sophia. Yet Arafat gets the Nobel Prize. <laughs> Oh, uh, Harry, I missed you so much. Oh, God, Charlie. We just saw each other last night. I know, I know. But after the way I acted, I, I got scared you'd never let me in your house again. I mean, you already went out and got yourself a new best friend. Charlie, I did not go out and get myself a new best friend. You don't have to. With that, hey, get to know me smile of yours, guys just naturally flock to you. Uh, look, uh, you want to watch a movie with me on uh, Laserdisc? Cal rented Fanny and Alexander. Cool. I'll fry up some bologna. <laughs> Call me when they show the first panty. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, Harry, say hello to Brandy. Hi. And Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. Now, Brandy here used to be married to a doctor. Once burned, never shy. <laughs> hey, Harry, where are your tweezers? The baloney's stuck in the toaster. Oh. Oh. 
that's you. Uh, Ben, can I, can I see you in the kitchen for a second? Sure, pal of mine. Excuse us, Dietz. We're gonna talk man to man. <laughs> Looks like you're one man short. <laughs> You smell like baloney. Don't try to cheer me up. <laughs> Look, Harry, I wasn't trying to push brandy on you, because if you'd rather have rotten, no, I don't no, give... No, no, Ben, 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 no, that, that, that's not it. I, I, I just think it's important to Charlie that just he and I watch the movie together. Why? Well, we've been friends for quite a while, and lately I'm not just spending a lot of time with him. <laughs> what a needy guy. But I get you tomorrow night, right? <laughs> Actually, I, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Ben, don't you think we're rushing this relationship a little bit? I didn't think so. I like you. You like me. You do like me, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, but, I mean... I like other guys, too. If you got something to say, Harry, why don't you just say it? Ben, I'm sorry. It's it's not you. It's me. I'm I'm just not ready to be exclusive to one buddy. I see. Well, it's probably better I know now. Some men can flit around from pal to pal. But I guess I'm just your basic one guy guy. Um, you're gonna be okay? Yeah. Can I call you sometime? <laughs> sure. It's, but, you know, maybe not, not right away. <laughs> right. Well, I'll just grab the girls and get out of your hair. Okay, Deeds. I'm out, you're in, he's all yours. <laughs> Just promise me you'll be good to him. <laughs> you can count on it. Came too close to losing this guy. Oh, God. How you doing, Carol? Oh, having a blast, sir. Although we're so high up, it's kind of difficult to see the field. Here, you want to borrow my binoculars? Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, uh, Carol, nobody ever borrows Lloyd's binoculars. Why not? 